Ayun, good, uh, good afternoon. Good evening na ba? Hello sa ating mga live viewers. We have 21 live streamers today and I hope na sa mga nanonood na ngayon natin live stream. This is the pilot sec uh, pilot uh, live stream of our project which is yung ating match to our live stream. Sa mga nanonood ngayon, I hope na you can consider sharing this live stream para mas maraming tao makarinig at makakita ng ating topic today. So, uh, this one is actually an example of or the pilot live stream of our project in which ang target namin is magbigay ng free match tutorial videos sa aming Facebook page at sa YouTube channel ko. By the way, I am Mr. Eduardo Sigonsaga Jr., commonly known as Math Teacher Gon sa Facebook page ko saka sa aking YouTube channel. So, ayan, pakilala na natin yung mga kasama natin. So, I have here three, three members sa group ko para maging possible itong ating gathering live stream. First, we will introduce the first one. We have here, Prof. D. Hello, Prof. D. Kamusta? Hi, hi, hi ma Teacher Gon. So, salamat sa ano, uh, pag-invite dito sa, sa iyong uh, math tutorial na gagawin nating live stream sa iyong Facebook account. Yes. Okay. Uh, Prof. Leo, you, know, um, you can plug in your, ano, your... Sabihin mo na lang. Yung... Uh, hi, guys. Uh, ako nga pala si Prof. D. Uh, I'm a teacher and also a content creator sa YouTube. So, ako yung mag-handle ng uh, senior high math subjects ng math tutorial ni Teacher Gon. So, yun lang. Thank you, sir. Next naman natin, we have here Mr. Mark Anthony Gomez. Hi, sir. Hi, Sir Gergon, uh, Sir Jeff. Thank you, Sir Gergon, sa pag-invite sa, pag sa amin dito sa, ano, sa iyong uh, gagawing ano, live stream tutorial project. So, uh, sana ay maging tuloy-tuloy itong ating project na ito na gagawin para sa mga bata naman ito. Eh. Ayan po. Okay, thank you, Sir. And last but not the least, siya yung maging ano natin. Una natin, um, kinapag-discuss ng topic. So, we have here... Sir Dan Apostol. Hello, uh, good afternoon guys. Uh, hello, teacher, uh, teacher Gon, Prop D, and Sir Gomez. So, maraming maraming salamat sa pag-invite sa amin dito. And, and sana magtutuloy dito and hopefully magkaroon tayo ng marami pang uh, susubaybay para matulungan natin yung mga batang nangangailangan sa atin. Yes, very good. Uh, maraming salamat sa inyo, sa inyong pag-accept sa ating ano, gawain na to. Kasi ano, uh, this one is a difficult task na kung saan mahirap mag-prepare at mag-livestream ng mga tutorial sessions this uh, pandemic, lalo-lalo na kung ikaw lang isa So, kailangan ko rin mamasang para makapag-deliver tayo ng quality content. Hindi lang sa YouTube, pati na, pati na rin sa Facebook. And I would like to take this opportunity to plug in those ano, those channels. You can visit, sa mga live streamers natin, you can visit Prof. D, Sir Dan Apostol, Mr. M. Gomez. Ayun yung mga pangalala nila sa kanilang mga Facebook pages at sa kanilang mga YouTube channels. And lastly, gusto lang i-share yung ano, yung yung sponsor namin. We have a sponsor sa aming, ano, sa aming live stream. Uh, I would like to thank Uh, meron tayong ano, technical difficulties. So medyo ano, nawala si Matt Teacher Gon. Shoutout muna natin yung mga ano, live viewers natin. Si Migs Manyoza. Tsaka si Norhamin Ramalan. So habang hinihintay natin uh, makabalik si Teacher Gon. Ayun, nawala na naman ako. Nahulog na naman ako. Salamat sa pagsalo. Sinusubukan ko lang talaga kung sasaloyin niyo ako eh. And hello, shoutout sa inyo mga, mga live viewers natin. So I would like to say shoutout din sana sa ating, sa ating mismo ano, sa ating mismo sponsor. Okay, natin ito. 
Ito yung kanilang page. So you can consider uh, liking this channel or this business page of Sweethearts Craving. Sila yung mismo ano namin, sila yung mismong sponsor namin para magkaroon kami ng mismo ano, ng mismong account sa StreamYard para magkaroon kami ng simultaneous live stream sa mismong Facebook sa sa YouTube channel ko. So, So yun, uh, bale, uh, again, sa mga live viewers natin, uh, para makibigay tayo ng uh, gratitude towards sa uh, grateful, sa binigay na, na blessing ng Sweet Hearts Craving, I would like to invite you to like and follow their Facebook business page, which is Sweet Hearts Craving. Ang business lives are more on takoyakis and milk teas tapos, pati yung mga, ano, mga frock nila. So again, marami marami salamat po sa mayari ng business ito. God bless your business po. So, yun. Uh, sir Dan, ready ka na ba sa iyong discussion? Yes, sir. Uh, ready na tayo. So, ito okay. ay ano, para sa ating kabataan. Sige. So, habang nag-ready ka dyan, sir, na plug ko muna ito. Shoutout natin ito. Shoutout sa iyo, Zay Yamot. Uh, ito, napakasita ko ito mag-share ng ating mga, uh, mga posts sa FB sa sa YouTube. Shoutout sa iyo. Shoutout din kay, ano, kay Renante Peralta. So, I hope na ready na kayo para sa mismo presentation ni Sir Dan. Sir Jeff, remove ko na muna kayo. Eh. Okay lang. Sure, sir. Sure. Thank you. Sure, sir. Thank you, thank you. So, Sir Dan, it's your turn. God bless. Sir Dan, Sir Dan, excuse. Sir, nakamit ka, sir. Pasensya na po. Okay. Take two. Hi, good afternoon po sa lahat. Uh, this topic is for grade 6 students. So, ang topic po natin ay yung solid figures. Now, uh, let's have this drill first. So, kung meron na kayong initial knowledge about this topic. So, let us tell whether if the following represents a plane or a solid figure. Okay, number one. Okay, you can you can uh, type your answer on the chat box or comment section para makita po natin kung uh, meron na talaga kayong knowledge about this topic. So this is the figure. Okay, yung figure po natin ay parang ano siya, representation ng ating earth. So, ano po kaya yung ating uh, representation? Is that a solid or plain? Okay, yan po ay a solid figure. Ano ba yung ating figure na yan? That is a globe which is a spherical representation of the earth. So, yung uh, flat naman, yung flat representation ng earth natin ay tinatawag na math. So, hindi lang tayo natututo dito ng math, natututo rin tayo dito ng other uh, subject and also trivias. Next na uh, figure natin, how about, how about this? Is this a plane or solid figure? How about this? 
Okay, pa-re-chat po sa ating ano, comment box kung ano yung mga sagot natin. Okay, ito po ay ano, floor na gawa sa tiles. Okay, so marami akong nakikita dito na tumatama, no? So, ang tamang sagot natin dyan ay that is a plane. So, trivia lang tayo na yung unang naka-invento ng ceramic tiles ay yung mga Egyptians. So, sila yung unang gumamit nito during that uh, time ng Egyptian noong unang panahon. Next figure. Ito po. Okay, kung makikipapansin natin dito, meron dito parang structure. Then, merong mga camels. So, ano po kaya yung structure na to? Is this a representation of plane or solid figure? Then, merong mga camels. So, ano po kaya yung structure na to? Is this a representation of plane or solid figure? Sige pa, pwede ba tayong ano, mag-chat pa kung uh, alam natin yung sagot para makita natin kung meron na, na talaga tayong prior knowledge about solid figures and also uh, plain. Okay, so the answer is solid figure. So ito yung pyramid. So kung... Uh, Nakikita nyo ito sa mga pictures and yung mga sa website. Ang tawag dito is Pyramid of Giza. So trivia lang ulit, it is the oldest and largest of the pyramids in Egypt. Next. Okay, yung figure po natin, yan, parang uh, design siya. So... Is this a representation of solid figure or plain figure? Okay, yung figure po natin yan, parang uh, design siya. So, is this a representation of solid figure or plain figure? Okay, may na nakikita na tumama. Sila Roger, Lyle, sila Eduardo Gonzaga. Okay, so this is a representation of plane. Yan. So, trivia lang ulit. This is Arangoli. It is an art form originating in the Indian subcontinent. So, yung ginagamit dito, may, uh, pwedeng sand, pwedeng mga uh, beads in order to form this colorful, uh, colorful art. Next, the last one. Ito, favorite po nating lahat to. Tobleron. Is this a solid play, uh, or a plane? Okay, chat po natin kung uh, ano, para makita po. Oh, masarap talaga to, sir. Uh, ito yung favorite ng karamihan. Binigay, uh, binigay ko to nung last Valentine's. Okay, so solid. Solid daw, sabi ni Mark Anthony Gomez. So this is also a solid figure. So trivia ulit. No, yung Tobleron, this is created in 1908 by Theodore Tobler. Kaya siya tinawag na Tobleron kasi niname siya after the creator or yung inventor nung Tobleron. Then alam ko na uh, ang company na gumagawa na ito ngayon ay yung Mondelez. Dati siya ay craft. Under siya ng craft. Okay. So nakita ko naman na tama yung mga sagot natin. Ano? Very good. So meron na tayong prior knowledge about 
the solid figure and plane figure. So let's uh, start our discussion with solid figures. First, let us define what is a solid or space figure. So solid or space figure is a three-dimensional figure that has length, width, and height, or depth. So meaning, isa na siyang 3D. Kung yung plane natin, dalawa lang yung dimension, which is the length and width, ngayon, nadagdagan na siya ng height or depth. So yun nga, tinatawag na siyang three-dimensional figure. So his, uh, these are the examples. So meron tayong cube. Then, uh, rectangular prism, pyramid, cone, triangula, uh, triangular prism, then again, triangular pyramid, cylinder, and spear. Next. So, what are the two main types of solid figure? So, yung uh, solid figure na meron tayong dalawang types niyan. One is the polyhedron. Polyhedron is a three-dimensional shape with flat, polygonal faces, straight edges, and sharp corners or vertices. So, ito yung binubuo ng mga plane figures na pinagsama-sama. Next is the non-polyhedron. Non-polyhedron is a three-dimensional shape that has curved surfaces. So, ang pagkakaiba nila, yung polyhedron, yung kanyang mga faces ay polygonal. Ibig sabihin, flat surface. Yung non-polyhedron, yung mga surfaces niya, yung uh, meron siyang surfaces na curve. So, let us talk about polyhedron first. So, what are the parts of a polyhedron? Ito yung example natin ng polyhedron, so triangular prism. So this is called face. Okay, a face is flat pol uh, polygonal surface of a polyhedron. Next is this is uh, called edge. So ito yung side or meeting ng dalawang polygon in a polyhedron. Next is this one, ito yung may tuldok, that is the vertex. So ito yung uh, point kung saan nagmi-meet yung mga edges natin. So again, we have the face, yung flat polygonal surface, yung edge, which is the side or yung uh, kung saan nagmi-meet yung dalawang uh, polygon natin or dalawang flat surface natin, and the vertex kung saan nagmi-meet yung edges natin. Next, uh, what are the different kinds of polyhedron? So, meron tayong number one, we have prism. So, what is a prism? Prism is a polyhedron that has two congruent parallel faces called bases. So, tandaan natin no, na ang polyhedron Meron daw congruent parallel faces. So meaning, ito yung example natin, meron tayong bases na parallel. Okay, ito. Then, yung, face, yung parallel faces na yon, tinatawag rin siyang bases. So what are the different kinds of prism? So number one, we have the cube. So siguro familiar na kayo dito, ano? Kung ma, uh, ma, lagi natin nakikita to sa ating paligid, we have the dice, di ba? Yung mga dice, ganun. Yung ice cube. Cube is a prism with square bases and all its faces are square. So, ito rin ay tinatawag na regular polyhedron. So, bakit siya regular polyhedron? Kasi lahat ng faces niya ay congruent to each other. So, ito yung cube. So, lahat daw ng 
faces niya ay square. And merong dalawang base na square rin. So, meron tayong six faces in cube. Okay, ano yun? Ito yung mga yun. One, yung base sa taas, base sa baba, then yung lateral faces. So, ito yun. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Itong nasa harap. So, six faces yung cube. Eight vertices. So, eight vertices kung saan nagmi-meet yung dalawang or yung edges. So, eto. Meron daw eight vertices. Bilangin natin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, meron siyang eight vertices. And meron daw 12 edges. Edges yung kung saan nagmi-meet yung dalawang polygon is natin. So, bilangin natin kung 12 nga. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, tama, meron siyang 12 edges. Next is rectangular prism. So, a rectangular prism is composed of two rectangular bases and four rectangular lateral faces. So, ito yung example natin ng rectangular prism. Ilan yung faces niya, ilan yung vertices niya, ilan yung edges niya. So, again, katulad siya ng cube, meron siyang six faces. Meron ring eight vertices and twelve edges. So, one, two, three, 4, 5, and 6. So, meron tayong 6 faces. Now, yung faces is considered as faces. So, kaya siya 6. Kasi baka magtanong kayo, nakalagay dito, 4 lat uh, rectangular lateral faces. So, kaya 6 siya kasi kasama rin yung bases niya. That is also considered as faces. And next is triangular prism. So we have, uh, it is composed of two triangle bases and three rectangular lateral faces. So ito. Again, inuulit ko yung bases is considered as faces. So ito yung example natin. Meron tayong uh, triangular bases dito sa top and triangular base sa, bot, uh, sa bottom. And then yung faces niya, lateral faces niya, yan, rectangular. So this is a triangular prism. So ilan yung faces niya, ilan yung vertices niya, ilan yung edges niya. So it has five faces. Bilangin natin. So yung rectangular muna, yung lateral faces. Ilan yung lateral faces natin? Meron tayong one, itong nasa harap, itong nasa gilid, two, and three. Then also yung ating bases. So 1, 2, then 5. So meron siyang 5 faces. And 6 vertices. So bilangin natin yung 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So tama. And 9 edges. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So, take note of this kasi uh, mamaya meron tayong activity uh, regarding this topic. So, sana uh, nag-standby tayo dito or nanonood tayo ng ating tutorial para mamaya tignan natin kung masasagot natin yung mga activities. Next is the pyramid. So, another polyhedron aside from prism is a pyramid. So, kung nakita nyo kanina, meron tayong example sa priming natin na yung pyramid of Giza. So, pyramid is a polyhedron whose base is a polygon and the lateral face, uh, faces are triangle or triangles. So, ito yung example natin ng pyramid. Ayun nga, according to this definition, na yung base daw niya is a polygon. So, nagde-depende yan. So, from triangle and so on kung ilan yung uh, sides ng polygon na yun. 
And yung lateral faces niya ay triangles. So what are the different kinds of pyramid? Number one, we have triangular pyramid. So from the word triangle, kaya nga triangular pyramid, so meaning yung base niyan ay triangle. So triangular pyramid has a triangular base and three triangular lateral faces. So, then meron tayong tinatawag na tetrahedron. Ito ay uh, example ng triangular pyramid na kung saan yung lahat ng faces niya ay equilateral triangle. So meaning, equal lahat yung face or yung faces niya. Parang sa cube, kanina, lahat ng faces ng cube ay equal. So ito rin ay regular polyhedron. So it's a triangular pyramid with four faces made of equilateral triangles. Para sa hindi nakakaalam, yung equilateral triangle ay yung triangles na merong uh, equal sides. So ito yung pyramid natin, triangle yung, triangle yung base natin. So ano yung uh, faces, vertices, and edges? So ang triangular pyramid merong four faces, four vertices, and six edges. Bilangin natin. So ito yung base niya. It is also considered as face. So 1. Then yung lateral faces. 2, 3, and 4 yung nasa likod. Okay? So 4 yung ating faces in a triangular pyramid. Vertices. So bilangin natin. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 4 vertices. And we have 6 edges. So bilangin ulit natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, ito yung uh, one of example of pyramid. Also, we have the rectangular pyramid. So, from the word rectangular, meaning yung base, yung base niya is a rectangle. Kung kanina yung triangular, yung base ay triangle, ito naman rectangle. So, it has a rectangular rectangular base and four triangular lateral faces. Ito yung ating rectangular pyramid. So, yung base niya ay rectangle, then yung lateral faces niya ay triangle. So, ano yung uh, vertices, faces, and edges niya? Kung ilan yung, ilan yung bilang nun? So, meron tayong five faces, five vertices, and eight edges. So, yun nga, yung base, one, then lateral faces, two, three, four, and five. Then vertices, one, two, three, four, and five. And edges, so we have one, two, three. Itong triangle na to. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so meron tayong 8 edges. Next, we have the square pyramid. So what is a square pyramid? So has a square base and four triangular, uh, triangular, uh, sorry, triangular lateral faces. So kung mapansin natin yung pyramid, yung pangalan niya, nagbibase yan sa kanyang base. Kung ano yung uh, polygon na nasa base niya, ayun yung pangalan ng pyramid. So yan, again, so the same yan ng ating rectangular pyramid kasi parehas naman sila ng uh, parehas silang quadrilateral. Yung rectangle and square. So meron ring 5 uh, faces, 5 vertices, and 8 edges. Next is the non-polyhedron. So ano ba yung mga non-polyhedron or non-polyhedral na uh, figure natin. So, meron tayong tinatawag na cylinder. Okay, saan na ba yung cylinder? So, cylinder has two circular bases that are congruent and parallel. So, ito yung ating cylinder. So, meron tayong circular dito, top base, 
and also a circle on the bottom a bottom base then meron siyang uh, curved surface na nagko-connect sa dalawang circle so ilan ba ang faces ng ating cylinder it has three faces so ano yon yung kanyang uh, base sa taas which is the uh, top circle and yung base sa baba which is the bottom circle then meron pa siyang isang uh, surface no which is yung curved surface it is also considered as face kasi pag hinati natin yan magiging rectangle yan okay then it has zero vertices wala naman diyang uh, connected edges then meron two edges which is etong edge dito sa base na top yung top base natin and also yung edge sa bottom base natin. So, meron siyang dalawang edges. Next is cone. Cone has one circular base. Alam naman natin yung cone. So, kung nag-ice cream tayo, uh, familiar tayo dito sa cone. Yan. And also, yung mga nadadaanan natin sa kalsada, yung mga orange cone dun, kung saan uh, nagsisilbing guide sa mga motorista para hindi lumagpas sa linya or para hindi maaksidente. So, ilan yung face ng, or faces ng cone? So, it has two faces. Again, yung base niya, which is the circle. And also, yung curved surface. etong surface na to. So, meron tayong dalawa. Then, one vertex, which is this one, eto. It is also called as uh, uh, as uh, apex. Ah, uh, tinatawag rin siyang apex. Apex. Then one edge which is the edge on this uh, base. Kung saan ko mo-connect siya sa curved surface niya. Next is spear. So familiar tayo sa spear. It has no base or face because it does not have any flat surface. So, yung circle natin, ito, yan. Yung spear pala natin, sorry, spear. So, meron ba tayong uh, pwedeng ma-example kung talagang natutunan natin yung ating lesson for today? Mag, uh, maglagay nga tayo ng mga real-life example ng ating polyhedron and non-polyhedron on our chat box or comment box. Titignan natin yan. Uh, I-recognize natin yan para malaman natin kung meron tayong natutunan sa ating lesson. Before uh, we proceed to our activity. Sa so, makikita natin sa ating ano, kapaligiran na example. For example, sa polyhedron muna tayo. Okay, polyhedron. Uh, ano ba ang meron dyan sa polyhedron? Oh, Mag-example na ako. Sa example natin polyhedron is ngayong pyramid, pyramid of Giza. So that is an example of polyhedron. Yung yeah, example nga kayo, tignan natin sa chat box or sa comment box. So, wala pa ako nakikita na sumasagot. Okay, basketball or yung, oh, tama, yung basketball, yung bola. That is an example of spear. Meron pa ba? Shoutout sa ating live viewers. So... Ito ay ating first session. So mamaya, meron pa tayong sessions, no? This is for grade 6 uh, students. Yes, tennis ball is also example of spear. Meron pa ba? Ice cream cone, yes, very good, uh, Sir Gomez, na meron tayong ice cream cone. 
Okay, that is an example of cone. Kaya nga siya tinawag na cone. Okay? How about uh, polyhedron? Meron ba kayo naisip na polyhedron? Ulitin natin, ano ba yung polyhedron? Ito yung mga solid figures na yung faces niya ay polygon. Yes, uh, Mar Maria, Janine, Rabanel, Globe, very good. Tama, example of spear. Okay, Charles Batara, Rubik's, Rubik's Cube. Okay, that is an example of cube. Very good. Meron pa kaya? Before uh, we proceed to our activity. Okay, football. Yes, football. Uh, example rin yun ng, uh, yung football ba na ano na ginagamit sa soccer or yung ano yung ginagamit na yung pang rugby kasi meron tayong ganun pero kung yung ay gamit sa soccer yes that is uh, example of non polyhedron which is a sphere meron pa kaya or bago tayo mag-proceed sa ating activity. Madali na naman yung activity natin. So this is designed for grade 6 students. Pero pwede rin sumagot yung mga feeling grade 6. Katulad ng, ano, ng katulad ko, uh, feeling young. Okay, wala na, no? Wala na ako nakikita sa ating comment box. So, let us proceed to our activity. So, activity natin, let us identify the following figure. Then, let us also identify kung ilan yung uh, bases, ilan yung faces, uh, ilan yung edges, and yung ating vertices. Sige, number one. Ano kaya yung solid figure na yan? Anyone on the chat box? Or comment box. Sige, uh, type lang tayo sa comment box. Huwag mahiya. Libre po yan. Wala pong bayad. Ano kaya yung ating first figure? Ano kaya yung solid figure yan? According sa ating napag-aralan. Magbigay tayo ng clue. That is an example of prism. Okay. So, let, uh, let's reveal the answer. So, that is a triangular prism. So, ilan ba yung ano niya? Faces niya? So, we have five faces. Meron tayong dalawang uh, triangular bases and three rectangular lateral faces. So, meron tayong five faces. Then, edges niya, we have nine edges. Okay, and we have six vertices. Next, number two. What kind of solid figure is number two? Ayun, triangular prism. Nakita ko si Lara Maravilla. Ba't di ko makita yung comments? Teka lang. Okay. Yan. So, ano yung number two natin? Okay, that is a rectangular pyramid. Bakit kaya siya tinawag na rectangular pyramid? Okay, that is a rectangular pyramid. Bakit kaya siya tinawag na rectangular pyramid? Okay, tinawag siya na rectangular pyramid because of its base. Kung saan it is a rectangle. 
Then, yung kanyang uh, faces ay lateral, uh, triang triangle, lateral faces. So, ilan yung faces niya? So, merong five faces, which is uh, yung base, then apat na triangular lateral faces. Then, meron tayong five vertices. One, two, three, four, five. And also, meron tayong eight edges. So, yung kanyang mga sides. Next, number three. What figure or solid figure is number three? So, sir, uh, sir Gunt, pakipin na lang po yung mga comments. Parang hindi ko siya nakikita dito. So, ano kaya yung number 3 dyan? Okay. May nakita na ako. Sagot ni Ria Jose, uh, uh, to, Jose or Joes. Basta ano na yun? Kung ano man yung... Uh, ating mababasa dyan. Beatrice Garcia. Garcia. Yon, marami ang nakikita. Justin Lamoste. Okay, that is A cube. So, ilan yung faces niya? Sige nga, tignan natin. Ilan yung faces niya? Paki-comment na lang kung uh, ano yung ilan yung faces niya. And ilan yung kanyang edges and also vertices. Paki-comment na lang kung uh, ano yung ilan yung faces niya. And ilan yung kanyang edges and also vertices. Okay, so meron siyang six faces. Yung uh, lahat ng faces niya, square. Okay. And meron siyang 8 vertices. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 12 edges. How about number 4? Ano kayang figure yung number 4? Or anong solid figure yung number 4? Meron na kayang sumasagot? Meron na kayang sumasagot? Yan kanina, parang nag-example kanina yan sa real life, uh, real life object natin. Okay, Lara Maravilla. Nakita ko na yung sagot ni Lara Maravilla. Spear daw. Okay, Lara Maravilla. Nakita ko na yung sagot ni Lara Maravilla. And also si Charles Batara. Spear, spear yun ang sagot niya, spear. Okay, so tignan natin kung yan ay spear. Okay, that is a spear. So, ilan yung faces niya? Okay, so, tignan natin kung yan ay spear. So, actually, sabi kanina, wala siyang uh, faces and walang bases kasi nga, hindi siya flat. And number five, ano kaya yung number five natin? Number five, that is... Okay, paki-chat lang po or paki-type sa comment box para makita natin kung tama yung sagot nyo. Okay, paki-chat paki lang po 
po or pakitype sa comment box para makita natin kung tama yung sagot nyo. Okay, Prober J. Flores. Cone, ang sagot niya. Lara Marabilia, Cone rin. Justin Lamoste, Cone rin. Okay, Prober J. Flores. Cone, ang sagot niya. Lara Marabilia, Cone rin. Justin Lamoste, Cone rin. And si Ria Jose, Beatriz Garcia, Cone. And also si Criselma Balagapo, Cone rin. Okay, sige, tignan natin kung siya ay cone. Okay, that is a cone. Ilan yung faces niya? Pakitype nga po sa, sa ating comment box kung ilan yung faces niya, kung talaga naintindihan yung ating lesson. Ilan yung faces niya? Pakitype nga po sa, sa ating comment box kung ilan yung faces niya, kung talaga naintindihan yung ating lesson. Wala pa akong nakikita, pero tingin ko may sumasagot na. Hindi ko lang siguro makita sa ating ano, live stream. Wala pa akong nakikita, pero tingin ko may sumasagot na. Hindi ko lang siguro makita sa ating ano, live stream. Okay, meron daw pong one. Sabi po ni uh, Ma'am Criselma, balaga po. Actually, uh, debatable po kasi talaga ito. Eh, no? uh, meron po siya, may iba pong references na one, pero pwede po siya maging two kung isasama po natin yung kanyang uh, curved surface. Kung hahatiin po kasi natin siya or idadisect natin siya, magiging triangle po yung ating uh, curved surface. So, pwede po siya maging dalawang faces. Meron po kasing references na dalawa, meron naman na isa lang yung face. Pero when it, when it, comes, uh, it comes po sa higher mat kasi, dinadisect to, then it is considered as triangle. So nagiging uh, isa siyang face. So sa ating pong example, that is uh, dalawa po yung faces niya. So yung curved face surface and yung base. Kung atin pong idadisek. Pero tama rin po yung one kung pagbabatayan po natin yung uh, ating ang ating uh, tawag ito, uh, definitions na yung faces ay uh, flat surfaces. So, yan po ang ating uh, lesson for this tutorial, which is the solid figure. Salamat po sa ating uh, panonood, and I hope natuto kayo sa ating discussion. Uh, lag ko lang po, no? Uh, meron po ako ditong... Itlag ko lang po yung aking ano ng aking YouTube channel, uh, pwede rin po kayong makanood doon ng mga may elementary math content rin po ako. Meron rin po akong uh, high school content. So, plug ko lang po yung aking YouTube channel. Pwede po kayong makadalaw. So, pakidalawan na lang po. Uh, pwede nyo pong i-like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Libre libre po yan para po sa inyong lahat yan. And I hope na makasuporta pa rin tayo sa mga susunod nating discussion. For tomorrow, meron po tayong session ulit. Uh, kung di ako nagkakamali, 8 a.m. po ang aking time. Ang topic ko naman po ay pang grade 7 mathematics. So salamat po sa ating panonood. And sal uh, thank you and God bless po sa ating lahat. Mabuhay po tayo.
thank you and God bless po sa ating lahat. Mabuhay po tayo. So, so, hello sa lahat ng mga live streamers natin until now, combined sa ating YouTube sa Facebook page natin, uh, we have uh, live streamers who are still watching our live stream about solid figures. And let's appreciate the effort of Sir Dan in delivering the topic about solid figures. Sir, maraming maraming salamat sa iyo, sa iyong passion in mathematics. And again, uh, you can... Thank you, sa, ano, sir. Thank you sa pag-invite sa amin dito at para ma-share rin namin yung ano, knowledge namin kung yeah. uh, kakayanin ng ating powers. Yes, tama yan, tama yan. So maraming maraming salamat. And again, ito yung kanyang YouTube channel. Sorry, hindi na flash kanina. You can visit your YouTube app of sa mismong browser niyo. You can type in youtube.com and then you can search for Sir Dan Apostol. And right now, eh, uh, kakastart ko na ng kanyang YouTube channel. And as a as, uh, gift for him, let's follow his Facebook page and YouTube channel, which is named as Sir Dan Apostol. Yeah, again, sir, job well done. Maraming maraming salamat sa iyong um, pagpunta. And plug din namin mamaya later on, may, meron tayong next session natin na kayo magiging uh, lecturer doon. We have the percentage rate and base. And then sa last session natin, we have the uh, statistics and probability, which is to be delivered by Sir... Uh, kay Prof. D. Kay Prof. D. Yeah. Again, Sir Dan, any, you know, any advice for uh, online and modular learners? Ah, uh, yan, siyempre, lahat tayo ay ano, no, naapektuhan ng pandemic na to. So, medyo mahirap, lahat sa atin bago, uh, lahat tayo nag adjust especially yung mga students natin kasi from uh, face to face, nasanay tayo sa face to face na kung saan mas naiintindihan natin lesson kasi naituturo ng maigi. So, ngayon, uh, advice ko lang sa mga learners natin, no. Uh, siguro let's uh Take this uh, chance to uh, learn more. Or kung baga, pumunta tayo sa hindi natin gamay. Tignan natin kung uh, mag improve tayo sa ating pag-aaral and also kung mag improve yung ating learnings. Uh, advice ko rin sana na mag-focus tayo kahit na ganito yung ating sitwasyon, no? Kasi sabi nga ng ating uh, butihing sekretary ng edukasyon, no? so, shout out kay Ma'am ano? Ma Briones, na despite of this pandemic, uh, kailangan mag-continue pa rin yung education. Kasi nga, pag na-stop yung education na yan, uh, malaki ang mawawala sa atin. So kailangan siguro natin mag-adjust and adapt to the uh, new curriculum na pinapatupad ngayon. Uh, siguro, ano lang naman yan eh. Uh, after this pandemic, babalik rin tayo sa normal. And wala, wag kayo mawawala ng pag-asa. Thank you sa ating, ano, sa ating uh, dito, host na si Mati Chargon at na-invite tayo dito. Thank you, Lance, uh, sa ating, ano, uh, Lance Miguel Ching, pag, sa pagsusubaybay sa ating uh, live stream. Yes, sir. Uh, sir Gon, okay na po. Okay. Uh, so, maraming 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 salamat Sir Dan. Right now, ano, eh, nagkakaroon din ako ng setup. And again, stay tuned sa ating, ano, sa ating mismong uh, live stream. Uh, right after this, meron tayong session about percentage based and rate. In which, hindi lang mga grade 5, grade 6 students ang magkakaroon ng benefit about this topic. So again, Sir Dan, maraming maraming salamat. And... See you in a bit sa ating next okay. live stream. Uh, see you tomorrow, uh, 8 a.m. yata. Tama sir, na 8 a.m. ang aking uh, schedule. So yes. sana marami, marami pa tayong mapaglingkuran na estudyante. Thank you and God bless. Good night. Good night, sorry. Good night. <laughs> Di pa tayo matutulog. <laughs>